below YouTube, <coughs> watch lovers, watch collectors, and everybody else who decided to join me today. Um, I just received this watch of a stock Komandirsky uh, from Meronom website um, in Russia. Um, it took a while for, for it to arrive to Canada uh, because of that um, postal strike uh, in Canada, but nevertheless it just arrived. Um, literally uh, half an hour ago I picked it up from my, my mailbox and this is what um, and how it arrived as you can see the box. Uh, on the left um, is all that packaging there and it sits on the, on the outer package that it um, came in and the, the red box with the watch in it. I haven't um, even looked at the watch yet. I'll uh, bring it uh, up closer and we'll peel um, off the stickers and, and the plastic from the uh, from the bracelet and um, look at the uh, documentation and all that stuff okay okay here it is as I said the watch has just arrived and I um, all I did uh, by now I removed the two stickers one from the uh, crystal and the other one from the case pack and also removed the plastic from from uh, from the bracelet as you can see here we have uh, a simple instruction manual here very simple and it shows date of purchase I bought that on 13th of uh, on the 3rd of November 2018 and uh, Meranom I'll leave the uh, link to in the description below to that website where I purchased it from and um, let's have a look at the watch itself. The watch has a um, bidirectional bezel, no clicking uh, action or anything, just a simple, uh, smooth, smooth movement there of the of the bezel. And I like it that way. Let's have a look uh, at the details on on the dial. We see um, 12, 2, 4, 6, and 8 uh, Arabic Arabic uh, numerals there, and um, 24 hours um, markings on the bezel, and because that's the GMT function, function, and the, this red hand over here pointing right now at uh, um, close to uh, 8 o'clock, or uh, if non 24 hours, it will be between. Uh, 15 and 16 hours to be precise it's like showing right now it's 312 and and here it shows that it's in the afternoon 312 in the afternoon um, the way it operates it's a screw down crown and you need to unscrew it and you can feel when it starts being wobbly like this it's done by design this is in order to prevent um, the any kind of uh, if you accidentally hit the crown when it's unscrewed the force is not transferred onto the stem that goes down to the to the mechanism and it doesn't break it uh, and when it's unscrewed completely like this you pull it out a little bit and then you can wind the watch okay or pull more for the first click and then you can move hands as you can see both of the hands are moving and so as the GMT hand there right now it shows six uh, and, and GMT hand shows at uh, um, points at 18 that's 1800 uh, hours which is 6 p.m. and I'll put the, um, the current time which is uh, 6.58 right now and just for fun I'll make it 6.58 
AM. Actually, it's almost 59. So I'll make it 59. That's it. The crown is, in, uh, is screwed down and, uh, and the watch is ticking. There's a second hand. Second hand is at 10 o'clock position there. Okay. What else is about this watch? Um, let's remove this. Um, on the back of this watch it says, I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, and it's in Russian in any case, I will read it for you. It says shock proof. Uh, self winding uh, this is an automatic movement and here it says uh, water resistant 200 meters and the Vostok logo on, on the case back um, anyway um, this is uh, the watch um, let me put it on my wrist I'll show you how it looks like on the wrist um, oh, by the way look let's have a look at the bracelet a little bit um, there is a Vostok uh, etched in, on, onto the clasp here. Uh, the bracelet is very simple, yet I like it, to be honest. Uh, it's brushed on the outside links and uh, polished on, on the middle links. You release the uh, clasp uh, by pushing on these two release buttons. Uh, very simple clasp, nothing complicated to it, and then you lock it like this. Let's uh, also um, put it on a scale and see how much it weighs. No, actually, that's wrong. Well, 146. One more time. Well, here it is. 146 grams. Um, Okay, that's it. Um, more or less all I wanted to say about this watch. Um, I'll wear it for a while and and, um, and then I do, I'll do a proper review with all the dimensions and everything, so you could uh, and, and share with you my, uh, my my feelings and experience with this watch. But so far, I'm telling you, I'm liking it very very much. Okay. If you liked what you saw here, please uh, hit that sub, uh, like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and goodbye.